What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over all the Diglo locations in Pokemon Sword and Shield's DLC Isle of Armor. <laughs> This is going to be the final part four in a four part series, in which case you're going to be able to find the Diglets in the Stepping Stone Sea, the Insular Sea, the Honeycomb Sea, and the Honeycomb Island, in which obviously I haven't done yet. If you're missing a few or all of them, you could totally just watch this video. You could choose to slow it down or rewind, visit all the points that I visited and make it super easy for yourself. There's also going to be a playlist down below that's going to be all the other Diglett location, Isle of Armor locations, so you're going to be able to find the playlist and the additional video super easy. They're also going to be linked at the end of the video. And with no further ado, it's time to find the last of these Alolan Diglets.
Well, there we go. That was all these diglets for this location. Do keep in mind that the rewards that you get in this game are based on how many diglets you have in total for the Alolan Mouth, the Cantonian Slowpoke, the Alolan Vulpix, the Alolan Sandshrew, the Alolan Raichu, the Alolan Marowak, the Alolan Executor. At 100 diglets, you're given an Alolan starter based on the starter that you chose at the beginning of the game. If you chose Grookey, you get Rowlet. If you chose Score Bunny, you get Lidden. If you chose Sobble, you get Pop. Leo. And the final reward, which I don't want to spoil it for you. The end cards on screen is going to be the additional videos that are going to help you out. Be sure to click them while I'm talking. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Until next time, Austin John out.